Hello friends, welcome back to Sabir CAD. Hope all are doing fine. In this video tutorial, I'll explain the procedure to create a three-dimensional model of this drone. But before you try this tutorial, you're supposed to go through my introduction to 3D tutorials part 1, 2 and 3. I have provided links at the upper right corner of this video as well as at the description section. In fact, this is not a step by step tutorial video but instead I will be giving you all the necessary guidance and the files required to complete this project. I have provided link at the comment section to download all the necessary files required to complete this tutorial. So let's get started. First of all, I'll create a profile using a polyline. To draw this polyline, you can get the dimensions from this profile using the distance command. For example, using the distance command, you can get this dimension. It is 11.52. You can even trace a polyline over the existing polyline. I'll show you how. Click on polyline, start from this point to this, to this, then right click, go to arc option then right click go to second point option and pick the second point then select this end point then right click again second point and pick this point as a second point then choose this point as the end point then again right click and choose second point and to this particular end point right click come to line mode and right click and close you can just move it and check this out Then after creating this profile, you can mirror it using the mirror command about the vertical axis. And this is the first drawing provided as an input to start the modeling. Next I'll open the second reference drawing. Here you can see that the profile which is created earlier is extruded through a certain height. You can get the height from here using the same distance command. After that, you have to create another profile with this particular shape. And this profile can be created either by drawing a profile by looking at this particular polyline or else you can trace this polyline just as we have done before. Now let's see this profile. I'll take you to the left side elevation and this is that particular profile. You should follow this shape exactly. After creating this profile, let's open the drawing 3. And here I have created two viewports. One is a wireframe viewport and the second one is a shaded viewport. Now this profile is extruded through the same distance. So you can perform that. After that extrusion, when you check the next drawing, you can see that you will get this particular shape. And how is this shape obtained? That is obtained by performing a subtraction. So I'll give subtract. From this, just give enter. This is subtracted. So this is how this shape is obtained. And that model is shown in the fourth drawing. Now let's come to the fifth drawing. The fifth drawing is more of a kind of completed model. This model which is created here is mirrored. So you can go to the left side elevation. Then you can try a mirror command. So I'll go to mirror command and I'll select the object and I'll mirror this object about the horizontal axis. So this is how you get this. After that I have performed a union command. And I've got this shape. Now when you check the fifth drawing you can see that this shape is arrayed in a polar fashion and the number of items is four. So I'll try that here but before that I'll draw a line starting from this end point to this end point then I'll move that line with this as a base point and second point then I'll rotate that line through 90 degrees then again move this is the base point and this mid is the second point. Next I'll give array command. I'll click on polar array. Select the object. This is the center point of the array. Now we click on number of items and give 4. Next I have to fill up this gap. So I'll draw a rectangle from this corner to this corner. Now I'll extrude this rectangle. 
and I'll select this and the height is the same as this extrusion height so I'll pick this endpoint next I'll combine all these objects into a single object using the union command but before you try that you have to explode this array object because now the spikes of the drone are in the form of an array you cannot union an array object so I'll explode it then you can try union now it's a single object now when you look at the fifth drawing you can see that this particular corner is not sharp it is a very smooth corner so how will you create that for that I'll take you to the plan view now I'll draw a polyline starting from this end point turn the ortho mode off then right click arc option then right click second point option I'll pick a point somewhere over here then I'll pick this end point as the end point of the polyline arc now right click come to line mode pick a random point over here right click and close it now I'll just go to southwest isometric view next I'll move this profile through a small distance let it be say 10 units straight down in the Z direction next I'll extrude this profile through a height of say 25 it's a random height only thing is the top face of the extruded solid should stand above the top face of the drone I'll type 20 now you can see that this top face is above the top face of the drone I'll go to plan view again then I'll mirror this about this vertical axis and I'll select these two objects again mirror about the horizontal axis next I'll give a union of all these solids to combine these solids next I'll go for a subtraction subtract from this drone enter the solids enter now the corners are smoothened now when you look at the final model you can see that the corners of the drone are smooth this can be achieved by filleting the corners so I'll go to fillet command and click on radius I'll give a radius of one unit then I'll select a corner for example I'll select this particular corner now you can see that this corner got filleted likewise you have to fillet all the corners so that you will get such an appearance now let's take a short break I'm happy to inform you that I've got another YouTube channel which deals with technological tips the name of the channel is SAP Tech TV I have provided link at the comment section of this video please visit that channel and subscribe to it you will be getting a number of technological tips from that channel which will be beneficial in your day-to-day -day life for example you can learn techniques to copy huge file to pen drives and removing password from a PDF file which is already password protected the best YouTube downloader app the technique to send file from a mobile phone to a laptop or to a PC through Wi-Fi you can learn such things from that channel so don't forget to visit and subscribe thank you so much next we have to create these propellers we can create one propeller and array it now let's take a close look on this propeller I'll change the representation to wireframe and here you can see that there is a circle that is extruded and the corner is filleted go back to shaded now here the corner is filleted how will you create the blade of the propeller for that you have to construct this particular profile using a polyline then you have to give a small extrusion so you can get all the dimensions from this 3d model using the dist command now how will you create the top part for that you have to create an arc like this then you can revolve it about a vertical axis so that you will get this then you can union it so that it will become a single object then that can be arrayed and it can be kept on respective locations next we have to create these two legs which are called landing gears again I'll guide you through the procedure you can draw a circle here then another circle over here and the dimensions can be taken from here then you can draw a line and fill at the corner 
and you can loft these circles along this line as the path so that you can make half of it once you make half that can be mirrored to make the remaining half then you can give a union to complete this and you can copy this object onto this area next we have to create this camera mount which is nothing but two extruded circles with the corners filleted these are all circles extruded at different heights we have a rectangular opening over here then extruded backwards and subtracted to indicate the sensor of the camera then this main body of the camera is nothing but an extruded rectangle with the corners filleted and these are all nothing but extruded circles at different levels and even this portion is also an extruded circle now this mount which you see backwards is nothing but a profile which is extruded in this direction so even the camera portion sometimes it appears bit complicated but it's not that difficult at all and this is blocked you can explode this using the explode command and you can explore the various components individually now it's exploded for example if you want to move the lens you can just move it okay it's nothing but a region see this is a region if you want to make a region you can create a close profile and give a region command so likewise the lens is created likewise each individual components you can select detach and study and you can create it so i suggest everyone to go through my introduction to 3d part 1 2 and 3 tutorials before you try out this project because we are using the same commands that are discussed in those introductory videos hope you enjoyed doing this project please hit the like button of this video if you liked it after completing the 3D model of the drone, you can mail it to sabircat at gmail.com. I'll evaluate your project and I'll send you the feedbacks. So thank you so much for your patience and time. May God bless you all. Please click on the link provided at the description section of this video to join the WhatsApp group Sabircad. You know that AutoCAD software has got wide range of applications in the area of engineering, architecture, product design, 3D printing, etc. And this WhatsApp group is a worldwide AutoCAD user group. You can support each other and you can get your queries answered. I can also help you to resolve your queries and enrich your knowledge in CAD. So do join this group by clicking on the link provided at the comment box.